tell me this is disrespectful because I will say something to offend you hoes. Don't get no fucks, okay? So listen, honey, let me ask y'all a question. Have I ever did a personal ever before? Have anybody ever got a personal from me? Better yet, have I offered individual signs? Have I did anything individual? No, right? That's because I only give a fuck about what I give a fuck about. I can't tell y'all about nothing that I ain't been through. I can't talk to you about your children. I don't have none. I can't talk to you about the hard life, living on drugs, selling pussy, all this shit. I can't talk to you about that shit. I ain't never did that shit. So please get the fuck off my channel. Y'all, y'all don't help me, help me, help me. I can't help y'all because I don't I ain't never been through what y'all been through. Y'all trying to bring something out of me. Y'all trying to tell me to do something that I ain't never did. That makes me a hypocrite. Okay? I don't do all this stuff. I only talk about what I talk about. I'm 24 years old. I'm living my motherfucking life. I'm having a motherfucking good time living, okay? I'm talking to the people. Only, I'm doing tarot to help me, okay? And in the mix, I'm helping others that's just like me. So you have to be similar to me. To understand what I'm saying to you, friend, you gotta. Uh, y'all, y'all in the comments, help me, help me, help me. That's why my comments is on review. So it's so much stuff that at this point, it's like when I first drop a video, that's when I see y'all. After that, it's over with. You feel me? So it's just like y'all in the comments. Oh, you're only talking about yourself. This only resonated with yourself. But if you look at the other girls, it's other girls out here that's just like me. It's y'all older women. With all these children and stuff that's trying to come to my channel and make stuff fit that ain't gonna fit for y'all. I'm we're not the same. I'm not there yet, y'all. I'm not there yet. Y'all trying to make me come up with something that I'm not even doing. I'm not even in y'all boat. I don't know y'all struggle. I don't know y'all life. I don't know what the fuck you've been through. And to tell you the truth, I only give a fuck about what's going on right here. Period. That's it. Like honest to God, truth, y'all. I gotta I gotta be honest with y'all. Y'all keep coming on this channel. Trying to make me give a fuck when I don't, when I literally don't. I'm young as hell living. Leave me the fuck alone. Stupid. So yeah, let's get into um, let's get into the message, y'all. And yeah, y'all gonna take offense to it. Oh well. Oh well. When I get older, maybe we can relate. But we ain't relating right now. I know. So let's get into the um, message, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Let's get one card. Okay, it's say a year from now here. So a lot is going to unfold um, this year. That's what I'm hearing. Some of this stuff could probably go start going on. Second half, every resonate. Let's see what's going on. What's this year from now? A lot of I'm just hearing a lot of stuff will unfold this year. This year, this time next year, you won't be doing the same thing. You'll be out towards something different. Some, some of y'all going to be known around the world next year. Some of y'all going to be known for something that's different. This, And I'm here in a year. So some of y'all probably already been in a year of waiting or been in a year of doing whatever you're doing. And it's, and it's old to you now. It's like, it's tiring to you. It's boring to you here. That's what I'm hearing. And I ain't going to lie. I've been reading cards for a year. I have. Seven of cups, seven of cups here. So um, I feel like with the seven of cups coming out, some of y'all trying to come out. Um, it, I feel like some of y'all have a lot of options when it comes down to love, or someone had a lot of options when it came down to love with the nine of cups coming here. I feel like somebody is choosing one person though. I feel like this person is some type of seducer. They want to take you out. They want to wine and dine you. They want to get to know you here. Yeah, five of pentacles, because this man is worried about his future. He's worried about his career. He's worried about his finance. So he's being forced to make a change in his life. That's what I'm hearing. He's worried about the future. Yeah, so this man trying to gain control over something. He's trying to manifest something. I feel like um, he's trying to find somebody who has skills with the knight of swords. This is somebody who's been watching you from a distance. He's like a hacker, so you wouldn't even know that this man was watching you with the four pinnacles coming here. I feel like he see power in you. He see he see that he could gain control in his life with the nine of pinnacles. He see a financial gain in you. So that's why this person is choosing to move towards your way. I feel like um it was a lot of things that disappointed this person. So now he's going towards something different here. I'm hearing a life changer. So with the seven of cups coming out, this person did have a lot of different options for this particular guy. I don't know, but he wanted to make sure he picked the best one. 
And this was the best one right here, okay? So yeah, he's coming in because he's worried about the future. He's worried about what's next to come. He wants to change his career. That's what I'm hearing. He want to make, he, he want to change his career and he want to secure his career. So let's see what's going on. I'm hearing he could have talked to his boss about this. If he's some type of um, social media person or some, somebody, he could have talked to management about you or management could have recommended you. Take it how you resonate. What's going on with the Seven of Cups? What's going on with the Seven of Cups? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups. So he's going towards somebody new, somebody that look heaven sent, somebody that look like a gift from God, and also somebody that looks innocent. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles is here. So this person was taking his time to offer this in. I feel like this person is very like stubborn here, and this person has a need for perfection. So they want everything to be perfect here. So I see this person when they when they set goals, they accomplish it. They go towards it. They put the work in. So they it don't it don't matter like how long it takes. As long as it get as long as he get whatever it is that he's looking for. The four of uh, swords is coming out. So I see this person is resting and recovering. Or when y'all connect, it's gonna be a it's gonna be this person resting. He's gonna be planning for the future when this offer come in. So I see you're gonna go into recovery here. You're gonna go into recovery mode, healing from hard times, healing from past wounds and things like that. And you're gonna be choosing a new direction where you're planning for your future. Where now you see something different in life. Yeah, Six of Swords is here. So I feel some energy where somebody probably was spiritually led just to come your way or somebody could have had a conversation with someone and they told them to come your way, okay? I feel like this person in the past had a lot of like obstacles, a lot of hard things and not, not knowing what to do. That's what I'm hearing. So what's the Knight of Cups here? Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. Yeah, the lovers, okay? But I feel like this person did have a choice between two and they chose the wrong the wrong person in the past here. So that's why this person took his time to come in because also they, they needed to heal from a past wounds, past traumas. I'm here in failures, things that, things that was a fail. So this person is choosing to move totally different. Like you're, you're not going to be nothing like the past energy that he invested in with the Six of Swords. And, and he know that this is the right decision to make. He's moving away from a hard time. So tell me more. Tell me more for these lovers. Yeah, the hermit. So this man most definitely been in hermit mode for a minute. Okay, he just been healing, reflecting over his journey. This is somebody who watches you on social media, who watches you um, from a distance here. So they know what's going on. They just had to reflect over their lives and make sure that this was the great decision. With the will of fortune coming out, they're feeling like this is a great decision. They're feeling like um, when you come in or when this thing happened, in due time, y'all will win. Y'all will be lucky. It's like hitting the jackpot for this person. Yeah, the um Queen of Pentacles is here. They see something long term with you. They see you as a mature woman. They see you as stable. They see you as wise here. And I feel like this person is very interested in that. And they also feel like you you're financially stable on your own here. You probably got some type of nice bag that you always wear. Take how it resonates. But they see, they see you. You feel me? This girl right here, she don't have to talk because it's on her, right? So this man with this knight of um pinnacle, I mean knight of cups, knight of cups is here twice. He want to come and offer you some type of opportunity here. He want to take you out on a date. He find you to be very attractive here. If y'all, if y'all don't have y'all hair and stuff done, it's time to get it done. That's what I'm hearing again. This man could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but you're going to your match. You're going to your pair here. Yeah, y'all gonna be together for a minute. I feel like when y'all do lock it, y'all gonna have so much loyalty and trust towards each other to where it's gonna be balanced here. Y'all gonna be able to really trust each other no matter what. Yeah, this person most definitely sees you in the public eye as well. They see that you get a lot of attention and a lot of public recognition. And I'm hearing this person is proud of you. That's exactly what I'm hearing. This person is proud of you and they want to get up and take action towards you. They see you as the new hot chick on the block and they don't want to miss out on it. So what's going on with this five of pentacles? So whatever y'all do when y'all come to come together, whatever the plan is, it's going to unfold it within this year. By this time next year, whatever plan that he has is going to it's going to be here. Like you're going to be the superstar. You're going to be the center of attention. That's what I'm hearing. Everything is literally going to surround you. <laughs> what's the five of pentacles? Tell me more about this five of pentacles. 
Yeah, the four cups. Yeah, he's over the bullshit. He's over the, the shit in the past. I feel like he's bored too with the same old things that he been doing when he come, when it come down to his career. So he want to choose something different with the ten of cups. This person want to make somebody's dreams come true. He want to get on some type of wish fulfillment here. He might see that you're tired and you're lonely here. Take it out if it resonates. But I do see what this person is, is wanting a family as well. They want that happily ever after that wish fulfillment. And they want to be able to focus on their career. And they feel like they can do both of them with you. Tell me more. Yeah, the star card is here. I'm telling y'all this is going to be a wish come true. I feel like um, this person did have to heal from the past. Maybe maybe he was in some type of family dynamic that took him, that took a lot of money from him. Taking however it resonate. And also he do a lot of stuff out of boredomism. Because he be bored and then take out his pocket, take it out if it resonates. But I see now where this person is choosing a different direction with this star card. He sees something as a wish fulfillment. He also sees something as healing, as balance here. Somebody who actually really cares. With the Ace of Wands coming out, he, it's a lot of passion coming out of this connection. It's a lot of passion coming out of you and him. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like he sees that you really care, that you're really invested into this connection. Like you're willing to, like passion means you could do it even when it hurt. So it don't matter if time get hard. He trusts that you could still do it, that you, that you will still fight him. And, and I, I'm hearing, yeah, this, this the one, this the one. Yeah, the three of swords came here. So I most definitely do see what this person is going to have trust issues because they're heartbroken from their past. And they want a second chance at love, but they want something new. They want something different here. Hmm. Yeah, the six of wands, okay? So I feel like whatever they're going towards is going to be a victory. They're going to get a lot of public recognition from this girl. This girl is going to get a lot of attention on her own. And he's going to be like the man behind the scenes the whole time. They gonna, Yeah, the seven of cups here. You're going to come out to the world by yourself. But it's going to be somebody behind you that don't nobody know that's behind you. Take it out every resume, okay? But I see this man seeing you as a victory, seeing you as a major accomplishment. If his name have ever been slandered or if your name, take it out every resume, he's going to get his name back. Like, everything is going to is gonna be glorified when you come in, when y'all pair up. And not only that, not only is y'all career going to be good, but y'all going to have that real family, that love and care family, that loyal, that loyal family. I feel like some of you guys are going to be like superwoman. Y'all gonna be able to work and and do your financial, do your social media thing, come out to the world. You get you get what I'm saying? So I feel like it's some energy too. This person had to let the past go. The past hurt them. That's what I'm hearing. So this person did have to let their past go and move on towards something better, choosing a different direction. Somebody could have had him as an option. Somebody probably had a lot of people behind the scenes and was coming out to him like like they was ready. And they really was not ready. So I feel like they, he had to end up walking away from it. And it did, it, it did hurt him. It did. But he's healed from that and he's ready to go towards something new. So let's see what the West T date want to say. What's going on with this West T? Yeah, it's a hospital visit. Okay, maybe this person had been in the hospital recently. Maybe something happened here. Yeah, it's a homes in love. So this person most definitely is in love with what you see, what he see here. Okay, it's a um immune to attack cannot affect you so whatever is going on around the scenes it's not going to affect you i feel like you're going to be good and that's why this person is choosing to bring you in or whatever is happening yeah it's a um aggression anger so um with this aggression being here he probably was pissed off at somebody because he ended up having to go to the hospital about something i'm hearing the std Somebody might have gave him some type of STD, take it however it resonates, but you're immune to it. So I feel like this person this person did something out of boredomism, fuck the hole, take it however it resonates, and he ended up in that damn hospital. He got mad about that shit. He was hurt about that shit. Like, <laughs> like bitch, you nasty. Bitch, you nasty. <laughs> bitch, you nasty. He was mad as hell about that damn hospital visit. That's why I got immune to attack for, from you here. So you're going to be good because this person had already, they already checked their health out. They already checked their ding ding out. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, it's like kind of busy. Um, that's why this person been like they kind of busy. They've been brushing you off. Okay, this person been doing stuff or this person ain't been paying you no attention, but they've been secretly watching you here. That's because they wanted to protect you from whatever was going on here. So we want. Yeah, it's a... Um, Draining masculine energy. So this girl tried to drink, gain back with the ex. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody got back with their ex that was just literally obsessed with them, draining this man energy, put this man in the hospital, fuck this man up, yeah. Trying to say that she had some type of undying love for him, or he had some type of undying love for her, well, he just didn't want to get up and walk away that easily. But it's a like mood swings. They have a lot of mood swings. He also have a lot of mood swings as well. So I feel like um, this relationship is not no good relationship. It's very toxic here. And that's why he's having to branch out towards something new. Yes, they trying something new. He want to try somebody and they say doing too much. So he want to try somebody that really care, that'll really cater to him, that'll really satisfy his every need. Not not no caring, nagging ass bitch. This bitch right here just here for the money, for the check. This is somebody who always on Instagram, social media, scrolling, trying to get into this man's business. Yeah, I told y'all this man was worried about his career, about his finance. That's why he's choosing to do something different. Choosing to choosing to move some 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 ugh. choosing to do something different. Okay? So it's a, a lie um lying to him about you, a copycat. So let me just go ahead and address this right now. There's a fake Instagram of me out now. So I don't know who the, I don't know what dummy decided to go make a fake Instagram of me. But bitch, you could never be me, ho. What y'all hoes trying to do? Clone me? Like, bitch, y'all hoes could never. Y'all hoes want to be lit so bad. And y'all hoes could never. Y'all hoes could never be me. So, yeah, there is some type of fake page with somebody trying to be a copycat, trying to trying to lie to him, trying to tell him all type of lies about you. I feel like this person knows that this is not the real thing, though. This person didn't pay that shit no attention. Really not into her. Yeah, this is somebody This is somebody who sees you lit as fuck. And this person is not even into whoever this bitch is. So she chooses to copy you. She chooses to clone you. She chooses to so she chooses the fake to be you to see if she'll get a text back. That's what it is. They hoe wanna see if she's gonna get a text back. That man literally broke up with the bitch and she tried to do black magic on him. Blood magic. Nasty. And she's trying to manipulate him when it comes down to the kids. I'm yeah, whoever this person is, she tried to do some type of attempt to get this person. But it was some bullshit because she saw some bullshit on Instagram, on social media, take how it resonate. But she did try to attempt to get him. And when the person seen it, they seen that it was some bullshit. Okay, he's, it's like confused, wasting his time. So maybe there's somebody he literally wasted time with. I told you he did something out of boredom. But she thought she had won. But I'm telling you, she didn't. Okay, she hurt him. She really hurt him. So she thinking she won and she ain't won shit. So you're predicting this. Whatever is finna come in, you're most definitely finna keep it private. You're finna keep it to yourself because you're triggering this person. You're triggering this person. That's why they're coming in. And also, you're going to keep it private because you're going to trigger whoever this Karen nagging ass bitch is. And she's going to try to do some other spiteful ass, evil ass shit here. So yeah, it's a minding your own business, taking care of yourself. That's why this person is choosing you because you're minding your own business. You take care of yourself and you don't give a fuck about nobody else here. Okay, this person has most definitely been holding on to you, but they have been dealing dealing with some type of toxic relationship while you've been in cloud nine. So yeah, this bitch is going to have some type of evil eye towards you. She said she see everything. So apparently she's seeing you on social media and she thought that she could put you in your place. She thought she was a goofy here, but yeah, you ain't do nothing to get this man more wild emotions here, okay? So it's a cleaning energy, still stalking. So this bitch is most definitely stalking, okay? When I cleanse my energy, I just literally clean my house real, real good. And I um I put the holy oil like all over my hand and on my forehead. And that's how I do my cleanse if, if anybody ever wanted to know. But yeah, um, yeah, this person is most definitely stalking you. She's studying you. But whoever he is, he's studying you as well, trying to get you closer, trying to pull you closer. So it's like fuck her. It's fuck whoever this other energy is, okay? It's like some unexpected lover. So he is going to go go towards some type of unexpected lover here. And it's like needing help with busted here. Maybe he got caught doing something in the legal system, take however it resonates. But he is miserable as fuck laying next to whoever he's laying next to. Here, she probably saying that she gonna put the police on him if he leaves. Take however it resonates. But he's having passionate thoughts of you. So, yeah, take that however it resonates, you guys. And then we got, um, let's see what the what, let's see what the Kipper Deck want to say. What the Kipper Deck need to say about this. It's a sudden wealth justification. So, whatever's going on is going to be going to be justified. That's what I'm hearing. Tell me more. Let's see what's going on with the... Yes, a message of concern here. So there's going to be some type of message that's going to come in or maybe he got some type of message because he fell out up here on the hospital. So he got some type of message of concern. Yeah, so he got some type of message of concern that really pissed him off, that really made him mad here. That's what I'm hearing. It could have came from a female or a woman. 
Yeah, it's a main main female here. So it could have came from some type of main woman here. It came off it came out on top of that hospital card. So I feel like he was very shocked when he went to the hospital and found this out because this was his main female. This was somebody that was only supposed to be for him. Yeah, it's a good fortune, great fortune. So I see this person, he thought this connection would have brought him great fortune in the past, but now he's choosing to go towards something different here. Yeah, it's a thoughts. This person is most definitely thinking of you. He's painting a picture of you. He sees something in you that you might not see in yourself. Take so however it resonates. And he do see this being good, good uh, fortune. It's a, a gift here. This person is going to give you something here because maybe they could be worried about you leaving. They don't want they don't want other people to try to take you from this man. This man most definitely could be a, a mature guy. He could be somebody older than you. Yeah, but he do want to give you some type of gift here. And whatever gift it is, it might shock you. It might, you know how sometimes when boys give us like diamonds and things like that, we be like, oh, it's just sure you want to give me this, you know, type energy. But this man most definitely is some type of wealthy man. Okay. So he do got money and whatever is going on in his career, it's not, it's not like he's worried about his career, but he could, he could use a little help. He can use a female on his side. That's why I'm here. So it's a um good fortune. He feel like that you'll that you'll bring him way more fortune and whatever he already have. You he feel like you can double it. You could triple it. Like you could make it way more. So yeah, it's a sudden wealth coming in for you. So I feel like this person is thinking about giving you some type of sudden wealth, taking you on trips. I'm hearing private planes. Things that you never thought you would see before. You're finna see them. You're finna see them with this wealthy man. Yeah, it's a official man. So this person might have had to ask his boss, had to ask somebody older than him, had to ask somebody. Yeah, with this mature man being here, he most definitely did have to ask somebody. Like, do y'all feel like this person got potential? Because he don't, I don't, it say he don't trust his word. But I just feel like he want confirmation. So he probably had to go to his boss or somebody that's over him. Because it don't matter if he's a wealthy man. It's somebody over this wealthy man. You feel me? Until it ain't. Ding, ding, ding. Until it ain't. Like, it's it's somebody always over these wealthy men. Like, who would, if you know this man is wealthy, it's somebody hidden behind him. If you know any of these wealthy men, it's always somebody hidden behind him until you don't know who hidden behind him. That's the real wealthy man, that billionaire. So, yeah, he did have to go um to somebody above him just to, just to talk about it. You feel me? It wasn't no, it wasn't no like, oh, he needed permission because he can do whatever the hell he want to do. He a wealthy man. He could do whatever he wanted to do. But whoever this mature guy is, this official, this official person, this mature guy, this is somebody who knows a lot. He's intelligent. He's smart. This man got a library behind him. So he got a story to tell. He got shit he done been through. And this person, this person who he talked to about, it was a wise person. Like, if, if he okay, this then it's cool. We good. Yeah, we got the family room. So some of y'all most definitely is going to be a secret to the family. Like maybe only the family is going to know about you for a minute. For a minute. For a minute here. I'm here in preparation. You're going to have to go through another season of preparation. Community. Yeah, he did go talk to his community. He did go talk to people. He probably even talked to his family too. I'm hearing dad. He could have talked to his father. With the um, wealthy man in the... um family room he could have talked to his father and with the community coming out with the official mans and the wealthy mans he could have talked to his boss but whoever i feel like both of them probably said do it with this unexpected income both of them probably said give to her okay this is some type of mature woman i see a future in her i see her doing something great i see her potential so you should take that risk that's what i'm hearing yeah somebody told him to go ahead and get up and take that risk See what's going on? Yes, yeah, say poverty. Okay, somebody sees that you're in poverty, and they see that you're um that you that you're wife material. That's what I'm hearing. And it's a expectation. So um I feel like this person could be expecting you taking however it resonates, but a message of concern could come down here. Maybe yeah, something to do with a false person. I feel like this energy is most definitely expecting you though, or somebody is expecting you. Somebody is expecting him to come get you because they had already told him that this was a good fit. That's what I'm hearing. So let's see what um my little dick wanna say. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, y'all gotta drop some names. Y'all gotta drop some names below. What should I call my tarot dick, y'all? Yeah, it's it's say no kids. No kids. So whoever he's going to, they don't have children. They don't have kids at all. And I feel like that was that was a big like 
a big yes. Like there was a big yes for you just because you don't have kids. January, January just came out. This person probably been watching you since January. And a lot of stuff could have happened with a karmic lover in January. Also with fake family members in January. It's taking however it resonates. But 555 five, five here. So there's some type of major change that's going to come into you guys' life. My ear right here is itching. So there's some type of major change that's most definitely going to come into you guys' life here. These people could be talking about you. I mean, what's her availability? What what does she do now? What does she have going on? Take it however it resonates. It say your life will mean something one day. So this is going to be a part of your purpose. This is going to be a part of your calling here. Yeah, February is coming out. So by February, you might be in something. Or it is February, huh? By the end of February, something might pop off here. Let's see, it say broke lying ass bitch. Okay, this person was, and it say rapper here. So this person most definitely was dealing with some type of broke lying ass bitch here. And then we have earth sign coming out. This person most definitely could be a rapper, social media influencer, take it how it resonate. He could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And he most definitely is trying to make, trying to be your sugar daddy. He most definitely is trying to be your sugar daddy. Like, like I'm hearing all somebody need is, is a sugar daddy. That's all somebody needs. She could do it on her own. Like, and then it's gonna be like, oh, such and such was behind her the whole time. It's like shit. Like, people gonna be shocked when you really come out to the world. That's why I'm here. So let me just try to get one card before we go. Yeah, say like pray. So this person also talked to God as well. <laughs> This person also talked to God as well. They talked to all their friends and they prayed and talked to God. I respect you for it. I love it. I love that. Because they don't want to make no bad-ass decision, man. This person is like, bro, I can't fuck up. I cannot make no another bad-ass decision when it come down to these females, man. When it come down to these females, he can't do it. He can't do it. That's how he feeling, y'all. So we're going to get one Bible verse before we go, y'all. One Bible verse before we head out this thing. Let me get one card before we go. Mm. Wow. Luke 24, 51. While he was blessing them, he left and was taken up to heaven. This kind of just made me want to cry a little bit. A little bit, y'all. A little bit. Luke 24, 51. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up to heaven. You're going to leave right in the mix of this stuff. Right in the mix of helping people. Right in the mix of, of changing people's lives. You're going to be taken up to heaven. You're going to be taken up to glory. <laughs> so, yeah, that's going to be in the description box below, you guys. So, thank y'all for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. You girl is out. Peace.